Hey guys, Walt Wagner here with TAV. We are uh, finishing up another Land Cruiser here. <clears throat> this time, it's a, a little bit different. It's uh, something we want to kind of put out to gain a little bit more awareness on uh, some of our stage ones and uh, show what the kind of kind of the capabilities are here of, of what a stage one can look like. Um, for this one, it's a 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser and we're running a stage one with Kings on this one, a, to a Total Chaos upper control arm and a uh, custom King Al uh, coilover. For wheels and tires, we are running a Method 701 with uh, Toyo Open Country AT. It's a 285 70 17, and uh, it's just got a, it's a really, really got, it's got a lot of really good road manners and uh, snow tolerance. The, uh, this client's actually from Florida and he's flying out to pick it up and heading into Moab to do a trip and then he'll be driving it back to Florida. So it'll be a, a fun break in for this truck. For body armor, we're running a descent off-road uh, front bumper with a come up 12.5 RS winch and it fits in there really nice. It's physically the same size as the 9, 9.5, but it's since that since we can get, get it as the same size, we can fit that in there and we just tend, tend to run the 12.5s. We also have a, we also relocate the plug for the manual plug uh, to the front of the bumper so you can access it a little bit, a lot easier. And it is wireless winch too, so all you gotta do is hit a button to power it on the winch itself and then you can, it'll Bluetooth to your wireless remote. For lights, we kept it really simple on here for him. His factory fog light switch is running the Baja Designs Squadron Pro, and it's a driving combo. So you can see the difference in the lens there in the in the two two diodes. There is one one driving uh, pattern, and then the other one is like a more of a dispersed a lens pattern. On the Kings that we use, as you're probably familiar with, uh, we we run uh, custom valving com uh, depending on what the client's going to need and spring rates to support the front of the load of the front of the truck but we're also running a high speed compression adjuster on these and that's personal preference on how you want that set when we deliver the truck we usually leave them leave that valve gate wide open and kind of let the client make that call as they're driving it you know with the back of the truck it's usually uh tends to get a little heavier with uh with gear and equipment stuff like that so depending on your driving surface you can close that valve gate down and slow your high speed compression down and make the truck feel a lot more planted. For sliders on this truck, we're running the Metal Tech sliders on the Land Cruisers. They make some great stuff. It's super strong. Ties in real nice to the 200 series. Moving around the back, we're looking at the Descent off-road dual swing out and it's a custom configuration as well. It's a very modular system and you can put the tire on either side. You can put the gear carrier you see there on the passenger side if you like but the uh it's so it's you know kind of you can configure it really any way you want it's got integrated recovery points it re also relocates the the smaller uh lights that the 200 series has on it down to the bumper so you have a backup light turn signal and a brake light down in the bumper itself and those are leds and they work in conjunction with your factory lights uh, as well the swing outs are on a gas strut, so it's kind of nice and controlled when you're opening it. So if this thing is full of gear, it's a little heavier, you push on it and create a little positive pressure to undo your latch. You can just kind of let it, let it guide itself open, and it's on a gas strut, so it holds itself open. This particular piece here is a, is a storage cabinet. So you've got a lockable, lockable latch right there. It's also on gas struts. So you can put kitchen gear, whatever you want to in this, recovery equipment, whatever you want, keep it out of the, out of you know, prying eyes, lock it up and not really have to worry too much about it. <coughs> Moving to the other side, spare tire, you can just push this closed and the latch catches. The spare tire. We tend to run the spare tires on the passenger side. So if you're parked on a curb and you've got the road next to you, you can open your spare tire over the curb. If you wanted to carry two spare tires, you could. This one here has a, a little table. This folds up and a little support leg underneath it. Fits into a little keyway right here. Nice little little table for whatever you want to do on it. Send out your blog or whatever you want to with your computer right there. 
High lift jack mount is right here. We're not sure, uh, he's not real sure if he wants to run a high lift here or not. Um, he can run another kind of jack, like a Pro Eagle or something somewhere else, but it's part of this, so it would sit in an angle in behind the tire and would give you plenty of room between the door and the swing out. It's got nice bumpers on it too, bump stops, so when you're opening and closing this, it rests up against the bump stop. It's a rubber bump stop, so it's, you don't have any metal on metal contact. You can see how it kind of bounces that way. A lot of times when these things swing open, They'll, they'll hit, you know, it'll be a, either a, a pin itself taking the brunt of that shock load, or in this case, it's a bump stop. So that's that's a really nice thing. So a lot of times if there's a pin to stop it in on the inside, you can shear that pin or bend it. And this with this system, you don't have to worry about that. As you can see here, we've got the camera relocation right here. So it's a nice strong guard. So if that got bumped or banged, it's very thick. So you're not really, it's not, your camera's not as vulnerable as you might think. Um, and it also re relocates your license plate from here. The, in this setup, you can actually see the license plate uh, without it being impeded, but just in case we have it, we drilled a couple holes in the plate itself and mounted it out on the surface of this and, and moved a, moved a uh, license plate light right there so he's completely legal with no questions about it. This truck is balanced really, really well. It, it drives like a dream. Um, the 200s are just so nice. Um, they're very tough vehicles, but they're very luxurious as well, and you can really build it into a beast. So this, this is a, a tastefully done stage one, fairly simple and functional, um, really good stance, kind of makes the truck look like it's not quite as heavy looking as it does stock. So that pretty much wraps up the stage one walk around on the 21 200 series Land Cruiser we just finished up. If you want to see more rigs like this or more get some more ideas on the Land Cruisers, we've done another one that is going to be coming back to us after having completed the Pan American Highway from Alaska all the way down to South America, the southern tip of South America. So it is also a 21 200 series built quite a bit different. That is on our YouTube channel, Tactical Application Vehicles, and it, he goes by Great White Roamer. We're just trying to put some good info, info out for you guys if you have any ideas on the 200 series Land Cruisers. This is stage one, the other one's stage two, done a couple different uh, styles of them.